Another uh, dedicated, dedicated individual, man. Uh, since day one, since day one, big part of our academy. Um, just do the 6 a.m. class, come back, help with kids class, do the adult class, don't complain. If he's got an injury, I don't know about it. You know, if he's got something going on in life, I don't know about it. Whatever he's got happening, I just never know about. He just gets in here and he puts in the work. And man, I just love guys like that, man. Like it's just, it's how I'm built. It's how some people are built, it's how some are not, okay? I think everyone should be built that way because it's just life. It's just the way it is. And life is gonna just bring a lot of stuff your way. Life is gonna change. And over the last eight years, I'm sure his life has changed a lot as well. And, um, you know, I've watched him grow a lot as an individual with his, with his jujitsu. And, um, you know, again, just dedicated, man. Like, like I know he's tired. He's got, a, he's got a wife, he's got daughters, he's got a job, he's got everything like everyone else has. And still comes to class and puts in the work and never, ever complains about anything. Mr. Chad Rizzo, come on up, sir. <laughs> Blood on his gi and everything. Come on. <laughs> yeah. I hear a lot of us sniffling. It's not tears, man. It's sweat. <laughs> I was got some training, man. My man. That's it. Let's, let's share with the, the team in the world like how, how you got started and, and yeah how we got here well so uh, unlike Gabe um, I'm not 18 or 15 uh, <laughs> so I started pretty late at 37 um, and you know when I started I was 240 some pounds so probably so you know I come a long way and I was with Rennie one day and, and he's like you should come in and take a class and you know we wrestled together in high school did all that so it was kind of like okay why not and one day in, um, I'm hooked, and uh, you know, I also went home and I had ice bags on my shoulders and my knees and everything else, but you know, hooked, and uh, came in, just started, and, and it just grew, and you know, I watched the weight come off, I watched the eating habits change a, a little bit um, from time to time. Uh, <laughs> and, it's been uh, honest, it's been and, honest. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. This is Rizzo, I was like, yeah. Uh, and just, you know, and, and it, it started to consume me, and, and you know, it's definitely a balance. Um, you know, you, you got to find a life balance with it. Um, you know, I would say that there was a stage in there where I was probably training more than I was seeing my my, my wife and my kids, and you know, I heard about that. So you got to put the uh, you got to put the balance together, um, but commit to the schedule and just come. And you know, we all have life inconsistencies that get in the way, but this has been the one major consistent in my life uh, besides my my family. Um, that no matter the job, no matter the pressure, no matter you know whatever's going on, I can come in here for an hour and a half, two hours, forget about it because there's somebody coming at here and just trying to trying to kill you. And so you you learn and grow. And by the time you walk out of here, you walk out like, okay, that isn't so bad. I can go home and deal with it now. Um, so for me, this has been the release, especially the past six, eight months. Um, you know, I've been you know as most of you know I I travel for a living. And, not moving anywhere since March. So, you know, this has been that outlet that gets me to, to, to see people. Uh, I love to see people and, and I come in here and train with you guys. So uh, I couldn't I couldn't imagine this past eight months without it. What about, um, you had a major uh, shift change, I think, with your job. You, had, you, you changed career or jobs, right? Yeah, had, yeah, so. In this, tra in this time frame, you, you've changed. Um, yeah, so I changed jobs. I, uh, I went from working a little more local to, to a little bit more regional and and uh, you know this again you, you you set the schedule and you just make it um if you you know um if there's a tournament that week you maybe you schedule yourself in town that week you know um you just work around it um but you, you make sure that this is part of your life and you know uh, it's it's just in our schedule what about the the 6 a.m class because you are very you are one of the very few dedicated uh 6 a.m guys where if you're not in class you're away at work uh, traveling because it's never a message or a, a milk carton post or a UFO post or some type of abduction post where, hey, where's Rizzo been? Uh, he's not showing up to 6 a.m. class. 
Um, how are you able to all these years uh, just keep getting up every morning? Um, it, you want to stay in bed some days? Uh, every day. Um, every day. You know, uh, yeah, it, you know, my Monday, Wednesday, Friday, it's just ingrained in my head. I get up at 5.15, I make a cup of coffee, and I come to class. I don't really think about it. If I'm in town, that's that's where I'm going to be on those three days. The other two days, uh, it's a struggle sometimes to get up at 6. But those two day, those three days, um, I've dedicated, you know, again, it's a smaller group at 6 a.m. So, you know, one or two people show up missing. Next thing you know, we don't have a class. Or we got four or five people. And you sit there trying to find somebody to roll with or, you know, the right size matchups. We've seen the shift. We used to be a small class that went to a pretty big mm -hmm. uh, class to a little bit smaller class again. And so everybody counts and everybody depends on everybody to show up for that hour. That is huge. And that's why I brought it up because we need each other. I mean, we need each other. It's a team sport for sure. It's an individual thing. When we shake hands and we get after it, it's me versus him. But in order for me to get better, in order for me to have a role, I need, I need him. I need them to show up. We need you guys to show up. So 6 a.m. class, it goes from 20 to like four or some days two, you know? I mean, it's not a lot of fun that way. We wanna rotate and get after it, you know what I'm saying? So big ups to Mr. Rizzo, because like I said, he'll come in and teach the kids classes and then he trains at night. Why don't you just go home at night? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? You, you, work, you got up, you train 6 a.m. class, help with the kids class, like, why don't you just leave afterwards? You, you stick around, all, like yeah, to yeah. do two a days, a couple days a week. Yeah, so, you know, again, it's uh, it's about that schedule. You know, uh, um, well, it's in our schedule at home that Monday nights and Wednesday nights, my daughter and I train, and so it's just in that schedule. Uh, we don't deviate the schedule because my wife and my other daughter have things going on, and uh, Tuesdays and Thursday nights are our dinner at home nights, and that's where we eat as a family, so we make sure that we have the family time, we make sure we have the, our training time. It, it's just... You, the schedule is the schedule. Uh, we all work better with the schedule, and once you put it into play, it, it's not that hard to keep it to That's keep it, it going. Oh, man. One of the best guys in the room, man. You want to get pushed, man? Shake hands with Rizzo. He'll push you for sure. All right. Big round of applause again. For me. <laughs>